Hello, Amanda. Hey, Agnes. Hello, Justin Jesso fan. Hey, Josie. Uh, happy birthday for the other day again. Um, Zach Meme Abel. Hello. Uh, hey, Zach, who hope you're okay. I'm okay. Hope you're okay too. Uh, I am late. I'm eight minutes late. Greg, hello. Yes, Reese. Dude, I need to get back to you. I need to get back to you. Uh, you sent me a message. I've been a bit distracted, um, but I'm, I'll call you. Um, Ida, it is Zach O'Clock. Uh, listen and love Avicii music. Hello. Lily, the official uh, Lily. Hello. The fringe is growing. Yep, we're getting, we're getting back to normality. Hey Beth, hello, images by Ali. Uh, hello Ella, hello Belle. Hey Isabel, hello Aline, Mike, Robbie, hello. Hello Alex and Chloe. You can say hi to yourself, but I'll also say hi to you. Hey Paige. As Aslisha, Aslisha. Uh, hello from Poland. Hello. How's everyone doing? Uh, asks me and also G Long. Um, Amber says, "What was a good thing about your day?" So a good thing about my day was um, I had eight hours sleep. That was pretty good. Um, Chloe says, I recorded every time you said my full name and they got deleted. Eh? Who deleted them? Or maybe you deleted them. Uh, Johan says, I don't think my co comments are showing. Well, I think you're wrong. Yasmin's hay fever is really bad. Sorry, Yasmin. Uh, Nana, why are you so tanned? Uh, well, I was in the sun yesterday, so that's probably why. Um, cool. Cool. So, I, I'm sure all of you must be aware by now that we are in a, a transitional phase in the world at the moment where there has been an injustice which has brought about a wider question of racism in America and I guess potentially in the rest of the world as well. Um, and... I, if I'm being honest, I have been thinking about it a lot and let me just put this down. Cool. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot and I don't feel, it doesn't feel right for me to just be singing and acting as though nothing's happening because something is happening and the kind of the show must go on business as usual thing doesn't really feel right. So I'm not going to sing anything today. Um, however, I do think it's important that during this time, especially as we're still in quarantine and life is not usual because of that, I think it's important that we still connect with each other and feel a little bit less alone. So I think I just want to kind of hold this space for anyone who wants to talk about anything at all. It doesn't even need to be uh, the situation that, that's going on in America at the moment. You can speak about that if you want to, um, but it can literally just be about anything because uh, I think talking about things is really, really important and being open and transparent with whatever you're feeling at whatever stage of thought you are or stage along the process that you're at with any of these things, um, I think is really useful. Um, so yeah, if, if anyone wants to, uh, ah, yes, Evan, sending love from Los Angeles. Crazy sad times here. I feel you, bro. Um, if anyone wants to, to talk, to, to say hello, to, you know, talk about some of the things they've been thinking about, um, then yeah, please go for it. Chloe says, can we DM you just to vent stuff out as well? You can DM me. I, I can't guarantee that I'll read it, but feel free to, to send it to me. Um, 
and it says hope people come from their hearts and not their hurt and hate. Let's, I want to say hey, I've been on before. I'm glad to hear that as well. Uh, Rebe- Rebecca says, I could talk about being black, lol. You could talk about whatever you want. Um, and also, I've, I've been reading a lot that it, in on the, on the topic of racism that it's not the obligation of someone who's black to educate white people on racism. And I fully get that. That must get bloody tiring if you're like, a token black person and everyone's like oh can i ask you a question about racism i reckon that might get a bit annoying um so yeah if uh if you don't want to talk about being black you definitely can not talk about that um but you know what fuck it yeah let's um let's bring you on and we'll go from there Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? Becca. Hello, Becca. Hello. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to ring me and I'm really ill, so I'm like... I <laughs> oh, no. What's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah, I've got like heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion? Yeah, like sunstroke. Uh, what, have you been in the sun too much? Yeah, I was bathing my dog like in the sun and it took way too long and then I got really ill. <laughs> wow. Damn. That doesn't seem... Very good. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Not ideal. <laughs> How are you? Where are you? West London. Oh, cool. Nice. Um, yeah, I know West London pretty well. <laughs> um, I've heard on a couple lives you're like from somewhere near here. From somewhere near there, yeah. Some, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we'll say. Um, but yeah, what what have you been thinking about at the moment? Um, it seems like the whole world's gone mad, to be honest. Um, okay. Sorry, my family's playing really loud drum and bass. I'm going <laughs> to close the window. <laughs> um, and my phone's going to die. That's just great. That's this just is, great. We're, we're off to a, a fantastic start. <laughs> We've got illness, drum and bass, and... Uh, and <laughs> For me, this whole, um, it's quite deep for me. I don't know if I could really share it in front of this many people. Okay. You don't have um, to. But the, the killing of George Floyd really was painful for me to see because of personal issues I have um, to do with family in the prison system and they are black. So it was, yeah, it's heartbreaking. Uh, a lot of people don't get it. Um, there's so many different perspectives, feelings, like, it's just insane. So, yeah. I guess spreading awareness is the only thing you really can do from home, online. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't really agree with all the rioting and violence, etc. But, yeah. That's my thoughts on it for now. Okay. Cool. Thanks for sharing that. (laughs) (laughs) Um... I think, uh, what did you say before? Yeah, you said something about um, sharing things and raising awareness. What are the kind of things that you would want to be shared and what kind of things would you want people to be more aware of? Um, To be honest, it's it's so difficult for me personally because I experienced racism throughout my childhood up until my adulthood, Mm -hmm. Um, up until last year even. So it's like, I don't even know what I can do anymore. You know, Um, because I was already like spreading awareness anyway. So it's kind of like, yeah, I don't really know (laughs) what more I can do. Or it's just one of those things. I think um, for a lot of people um, who also want to spread awareness, one of the, especially like some of my white friends, they've been worried that if if they spread the wrong thing or say the wrong thing while trying to spread awareness that they may add to the problem or represent an idea which actually isn't helpful and i think that um that's something which i hadn't really considered before um like if if you had any advice when it comes to spreading awareness for people who want to want to help but also are scared to say the wrong thing what would that be (laughs) 
I did have I have a lot of white friends um, and they said this to me themselves they were like we're so scared of upsetting someone with what we say Mm. and I said listen everybody has feelings towards this it's not just you know I don't know black people Um, and something I found really problematic is that people are calling out whites and it's like hang on a minute racism is its own thing it's not just white people who are racist so why are they getting the brunt of it I don't like it myself Right. Um, and yeah, I just said to my friends, I said, look, no matter what you say, someone's going to find a fault in it. So do your research, say what you've got to say and stick by what you've got to say. Yeah, that makes sense. That's all that you can sense. do. I, th- I think, um, you know, everyone's got their own value system. And I think if you're honest and, and you're acting in line with that, then at least you can, you can say that, you know, if someone criticizes you, at least you were honest with yourself. And you did what you thought was right. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think uh, we're in a, a big transitional uh, phase of the world at the moment, where for the first time in, in a long time, um, especially in the case of George Floyd, people on both sides are united in, in seeing it as an injustice, which I think is a first. Yeah, um, absolutely. Or maybe not a first, to be honest, I don't, I probably don't know. I, I'm but it's definitely like, I'm a, a rarer, <laughs> it's probably a, a rarer thing where more people are united in, in seeing it as an injustice, which I think is a really good thing. Um, and I, I really hope that it can lead to a better society. I think that's the, you know, that's the, that's the goal with all of this. Yeah. From my perspective, anyway. It's worrying to watch because there's like the protests, etc. But for me, I'm too scared to get involved in that type of thing. Um, yeah, but I guess... How I, come, if you don't mind me asking? Just because of the... the, the um, just the fact that the police could be there and that it could get aggressive, you know, yet again. Mm-hmm. You know? I just wouldn't want to put myself at risk considering what just happened, you know? I was, I was thinking about that this morning. I was seeing even more videos of police brutality at the protests to do with oh. police brutality. That's what they say, wasn't it? Violence begets more violence or something like that. Yeah, I, I hear you. But then yeah. I was also... Sorry, come. <laughs> Sorry, no, yeah, I just... Yeah, I don't think it's right in that sense, but not much we can do. Mm. I think that that feeling of, ah, oh, there's not much we can do, I think that's what makes this a lot a lot harder, is, is whenever you want something done, you at least want something that you can tangibly work on to try and bring about a change um and i think that you know that's that's part of the frustration that it's not it's not a simple fix you're dealing with you know years of historical racism or years of you know what's it uh, systematic racism yeah and it's evolving (laughs) yeah and also you don't know what goes on in people's heads and why people do things you really don't but um, I think... Yeah, I was thinking of actually, before this actually happened, um, I was talking with a few of my mixed race friends. And we were talking mm. about our experiences of going to like drama school mm. and being, you know, some of the only coloured students and how we were treated a bit differently. And we were actually going to do like a live stream about it, but then got like lost track of time. And then this thing happened. And now, mm. yeah, we're all like, wow, it's like we saw it coming kind of thing. Right. What um, what are some of the, the things that you would highlight in that? Oh, is in the discussion we were going to have? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> to be honest, um, it was more revolved around class. And okay. Okay. And then being black was like the cherry on top. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it was very difficult. But from what's going on in the world now, I'm guessing it's still probably happening. The discrimination. Probably. So, yeah, it's make, it makes me sad to know that my younger cousins are going through the same bullying I went through as a child, and then they're going to go through it into adulthood as well. And it's just like, I thought this had stopped by now. I don't know why. But it, yeah. it really hasn't. What, what are um, some of the things in class and wealth that you would talk about? I'm trying to remember the conversation. If, if you, yeah, and again, if you... I don't, don't want to want offend to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get my account reported and all sorts um, 
can can everyone promise that if anyone is sharing any ideas, <laughs> you don't report them. You just let them speak and make up your own mind. This is an open space, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry if I offend anyone in what I'm saying. I'm not meaning to at all. One of the main things we remember is that we were outcasted completely. Um, no one would sit with us at lunches. Um, no one would, you know, if we had a dance class, there would be groups of kids. But yeah, if you were a different colour, you were just on your own for some reason. Right. Um, yeah, and it really was like what you see in the movies where, you know, kids sitting alone because no one will talk to them or play with them. It's just stuff like that. Um, yeah, and I didn't understand why it was happening then, and I don't understand it now. Hmm. Was this at school or in... I like... can't name the... Uh, it's like a break don't, school. Don't... <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a famous one. <laughs> okay, I feel you. Um... I went there part-time, like, on Saturdays. Um, but, yeah, like... the. <laughs> The racism I felt there definitely did some damage because I still remember it now. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, talking about it with the girl was weird because I had no idea she'd experienced the same mm. until we'd spoken about it years on. So I think one thing with this topic is don't stop talking about it. Don't stop mm. um, discussing it and don't be afraid to say anything unless you know you're going to offend someone. You know, don't be an idiot. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know. I, th I think if you're talking about your own experience, your own experience is going to be factual, right? So I think if, you're, if your memories of your own experience offend oh. someone, I think that's more of them problem. <laughs> it gets worse. My mum, so I'm half Indian, half Caribbean. Okay. And my Indian side of the family don't empathise at all. Right. They're like to me, you don't even know what racism is. Um, and when I say to them, you know, I've experienced it my whole life. People mm. don't believe me when I say I'm Indian. They're like, no, nah, we're not having that. You know, it's just, they just don't believe me. <laughs> Why it's <not>? insane. <laughs> <laughs> how's, how does that make you feel if, when someone doesn't believe that you're half uh, At first I was angry, but then I was just like, I wasn't going to waste feeling upset because they're an idiot. Right. I was just like, yeah, you're an idiot. I'm going to carry on with my day. <laughs> Who feels confident enough to to not believe someone when they're telling them about their ethnicity? Like, I'm unfortunately, I, I don't. I just don't believe you. <laughs> that's that's what I was thinking. I was like, why would I make that all up? Like, how? Yeah. Why? I know. I know you know your parents, and I know that you've asked them where they're from, and they've told you where they're from. But <laughs> I just, I just can't see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me see your ID, please. <laughs> yes, ID. Um, that's an interesting one. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I've wondered, what's your ethnicity? So my family on my dad's side are Moroccan Jews. So they, they're from Casablanca in Morocco. And there was an, an issue with anti-Semitism in Morocco around the time when my dad was born. And so they had to move. They got basically kicked out of Morocco. They're like, we don't want any Jews here. You gotta leave. Um, and so they went to Israel. So I've got lots of family in Israel on my dad's side because at the time that was one of the safest, it probably was the safest place for Jewish people to be. Um, and also they didn't have any option. They just had yeah. to be. <laughs> so yeah, family on my dad's side, uh, Moroccan. And then on my mum's side, um, a mixture of Polish, Ukraine, uh, Austrian. Wow. German, I don't know. Uh, mix. So Big yeah, mix. you're not, um, so are you British? Were you born here? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Wow. So you're, yeah, you're mixed. I did wonder because you're quite, I don't know, tanned maybe. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, he's not pasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. I'm not pasty. That's that's what I put on my CV. <laughs> it's like went to this school, you know, got these tanned grades, easily. and I'm not pasty. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's weird to to think of myself as half African, but technically speaking, I am. 
Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, uh, that is my ethnicity. Um, and so how are you finding quarantine? <laughs> Sorry to change the subject. It just, I've actually uh, the question ended it too much, actually. Um, I had a lot of studying at first, but I finished off, managed to get it all done. Um, and now I'm just kind of relaxing. Okay. So it's not, not too bad. What about you? Um, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I... I feel like I haven't really been exercising much and that has been playing into my mental health and oh, the amount of fat that is on my belly at the moment. <laughs> two, uh, two very important things. Oh, bless. Um, and yeah, other than that, music has been good, still making progress, but things are slow. Like there's nothing really like being in the room with someone and making music with them. Okay, you're missing that intimate kind of... I'm missing intimacy. Area. Yeah, That's what I I'm think missing. we all are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's, it's real. It's real. It's a difficult issue. Um, good to know that music's keeping you going. I mean, the arts are definitely keeping me going. Um, yeah. So what, what, uh, what did you study? Or are you studying? I recently did an access course in social sciences um, okay. to go to university. In okay. um, what's an access yeah. course so it's basically something adults do if okay. they've not got a levels oh i might need to do that really yeah. it's a year long instead of two um and you do like the equivalent of three or four a levels um and then yeah hopefully you pass and go to uni okay nice yeah. um so you're gonna go to uni and study um, Psychology with criminology. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Nice. So what do you <laughs> want to do after that? I've always wanted to work with either criminals or victims of crime. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's also into the future. I haven't really decided yet. I just know that's the field I want to study in. So. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good luck. You. That's very cool. Um, did you Did you go to university or anything like that? I've only um, performed at their live uh, balls. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're, they're like summer balls. Uh, but no, I didn't go to university. Oh, uh, uh, What would you study if you were to go? I'd probably do philosophy, sociology, economics. Uh, you know, I'd probably do PPE, politics. Okay. Yeah, economics. Philosophy, economics, yeah. Yeah. Just because cool. I've, I've, yeah. I've always been interested in, like, how best to how how best society should be run and, and i think that this what's going on right now in the moment makes me think of um this thing called the veil of ignorance i think i might have spoken about this the other day um one second let me remind rem rem myself who wrote that veil of ignorance um rules R-A-W-L-S. Um, the purpose of the veil of ignorance is to basically think about a society set up which you design if you didn't know which member of society you would be. Okay. So, for example, if you if you create a society... With no where, order. Like, yeah. So, like, if you, if you create a society where the king and queen get absolutely everything and every member of society has to stroke the king and queen's feet every day forever but you knew you were going to be the king or queen you'd oh. be like yeah okay cool i might do that but yeah. if you if you if you're not the king or the queen then yeah. you might be less likely to want that society right so the veil of, the veil of ignorance is the idea that you design the society not knowing who you're going to be so it's fair for to everyone everyone yeah, yeah. So right now, um, the ideal situation is that we would have a society which doesn't discriminate against people based on the color of their skin, because you don't know what skin color you're going to have when you're born. So it's probably a better idea to design a society where it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> um, it's yeah. crazy because like when i was born i was bright white 
so was my brother. Like, right. we were plain white, you know, and we caught some sun over the years, and now people hate us for it. it just doesn't make sense. Like, it doesn't, no, it doesn't. Um, I've got a, a song coming out on the album, which kind of briefly mentions something to do with that. I won't give too much information about it. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it is quite baffling if you think about it. Like, it's all to do with um, SPF. Yeah, melanin. <laughs> yeah, just like some people. Some people don't have it and some people do. <laughs> some people, they need less melanin because there's a lot of, no, what was it? <laughs> yeah, because there's not a lot of sunlight. Sunlight, yes, yeah, so they don't need it. They need to get as Absorbed. much vitamin D as possible. Whereas, <laughs> whereas <laughs> there's some people, where there's lots of sun, and so they don't need as or some bullshit like that. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's very yeah. It just seems mm. it seems mad that we're living in that society, but we are, and hopefully soon we won't be. Um, I, hope, I hope so too. I'm sorry. I want to say one thing before you yeah. maybe want to move on. Um, you it. answered a question of mine like maybe a month back because I watch oh, right. it sometimes, and it was about singing and like I sing, but I've never really put anything up or anything. And I've always wondered what's the best way of going about it. Um, put something up. I have one little video, but I don't think it's very good. <laughs> Well, what, the way I started was putting stuff up on YouTube um, and I was 15 and I basically just used the camera on my laptop and had a backing track of, I think, <laughs> Ray Charles, um, <laughs> fuck, what song was it? I think I, I got a woman, well, oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, I just um, had the backing track going on in the background. And I just sang over it into my laptop speaker. I wonder how many people have gone off to try and find that video right now. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> oh. um, it, yeah, they're all gone. Maybe one day I'll, I'll upload it if I'm feeling nice. Oh. Um, <laughs> but man, it was, it was really embarrassing. But oh, I don't know. Like, that okay, got at least I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, at least you didn't do that. But even if you did that, it would still be all right. Like, I think you have to, you have to try. Like... There's a chance you'll fail if you try. You might yeah. still fail, but you'll definitely fail if you don't try. True. Yeah, no, I did upload a little video, but I've kind of not done anything since then because I've just been like, hmm, now what? <laughs> I feel you. Don't know. That, now would be a good time to, to, to do it. You know, if you've got lots of time and most of your time is spent bathing your dog, it could be <laughs> a, good, a good opportunity. Oh, yeah, yeah no, that, was, that was a laugh. Well, what, um, what kind of stuff do you, do you like to sing? Uh, I play the guitar, a little bit of keyboard. Mm -hmm. um, I just, um, I learn by ear, so I never learn anything properly. Right. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Um, I, I like indie rock, uh, jazz, blues, um, everything and anything, really, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I like your stuff. Um, yeah, a bit of Eminem sometimes, you know, just mix it up. <laughs> yeah. I think that if, if you like my music, normally the natural progression is Eminem, is that, you know, also uh, the music, which is liked. So that makes sense, yeah. yeah. Um, you, you, you don't have to sing, but we're getting a lot of uh, comments here being like, oh, it's gonna sing, oh, it's gonna sing. So if you I want to, try. Um, you could start the ball rolling right here, right now. I'm still gonna start taking because I'm nervous. And it's going to be awful. <laughs> well, you, you don't have to, but you can if you want. Let's get the, the guitar. Water. I've got a hey, bit of water. Nice. <laughs> I need to prop my phone up, though. I don't know where to do that. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, loopholes. <laughs> It's crazy because I've always imagined what's it like to be on a live with like a singer or something. Yeah, and it's so weird. There's people watching us, but I just don't feel it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It, it it fades away after a while. You kind of get used to it, and it's like a FaceTime. Let's see, I don't know what to sing. Um... I'm trying to think 
your song. Coldplay? I'm going to try playing the guitar. If that doesn't work out, it's probably going to have to be a no today. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, you're ill, aren't you? I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm shaking already. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nerve-wracking. It's, it's, it's getting real now, isn't it? It is, indeed. There's people watching. The pressure's on. <laughs> It'll be fine. Do you know um, Don't Panic by Coldplay? Yeah, I love that song. Do you want to sing it while I play the guitar? Um, or is it too high, maybe? We can sing. Are you playing it in that key? This no, 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 go, go, go up a little bit. All right. Um, let's see. I need the lyrics though. Yeah, they're pretty simple to be fair. Yeah, the, it might be um, too high or too low, but fuck it. <laughs> I just play like a little bit. Um, slower and okay um because there's a delay on here so yeah i'll be singing out of time and you'll be playing out of time so okay. bear that in mind that's gonna be entertaining <laughs> it will indeed oh, right. i wish i could sing but my voice is shaking all right cool yeah yeah that's about that'll do Okay, so the beginning goes. Oops. Oops. We live in a beautiful world. Oh, fuck. Fucked it. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Um, you got it. Mm -hmm. Bones sinking like stones, all the people fall. Ah, check it. If you if you turn your volume down, so you can't hear me sing, okay, then my being out of time won't distract you. Oh, you don't sound out of time to me. I worried I was out of time to you. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's just uh, if I sing along with you, it's going to distract you because I'll be out of time. But the people watching, it won't be out of time if you ignore me, basically. Okay, and just keep but, it my own. But you own. won't be able to sing. No, okay. Actually, no, you can. Just turn me down. Turn, okay, turn the volume on your okay. phone down right now. And then when I wave, then turn it back up. Okay. okay thanks. I'm so confused right now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Bones sinking like stones, all the people fall. Bones, places we go, all of us are done. And we live in a beautiful world. Yeah, we do, yeah, we do. We live in a beautiful world. Sinking like stones, all oh. the we fall for. Thank hey. you for doing that. I can die happy now. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> that was actually a good key. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you're gonna have to rem remind me your name again. I'm really sorry. I Rebecca. Asked you Rebecca. Okay, cool. Well, Rebecca, it was absolutely lovely to have you on. Oh, thank and, you for having um, me. I hope that you recover from your sunstroke and that your dog is adequately bathed. Um, 
Yeah, Thank you. stay safe. And thanks so much for, for speaking openly about the things which you're thinking about today. Thank you for having me and discussing right. them with me. That's all right. Take care. Right. Take care. Bye. Bye. Okay. Let's get someone else on. Um, who else would like to speak? Okay. Um, who should we choose? <laughs> Isabel says, don't pick me. <laughs> um, I, I've... Hello. Hello. This, this voice sounds so weird. I literally just like um, downloaded Instagram again and I literally had to enable microphone access because I was like, shit, I don't even have this like on. Oh, wow. I know. I literally got it. I literally like, I used to join your lives like a month ago all the time. Okay. And then I just deleted it. And then I went <laughs> back. And I literally just joined this. Like, I joined it like five minutes ago. And then started daydreaming. And then I came back and was like, come back a bit oh it's so nice. now you're on oh, yeah that was so stressful I was literally like, <laughs> fuck like <laughs> jesus i was having a little hard like there so kind have, of um, have you been yeah. on a on a live stream before i have one time it was okay. with uh, this metal band i really like called very tomorrow and i was just the same as i am now like right <laughs> like, well, really if it's <laughs> if it's any consolation um my hairline is um is a kind of cone right now kind of I like that though, kind of know. thing. So I actually did you know, look at it and I was like, different but not bad. Different but not bad. I mean, <laughs> I cut my hair, I cut my dad's hair for two and a half hours. Two and a half hours? Yeah, I, I, so we didn't have trimmers, you know, I had scissors. So I literally had to like, every bit of hair was like my hand cutting it. <laughs> wow. I know. That's, I was, That's love. No, it's because he was getting really sad about it and I just felt like, actually, the reason why. It's because he got so he has these trimmers that you can only trim like like bits of your face with, and then he like just did a shave right in the middle, and it was like really short, and like you could see that it wasn't gonna deal with his hair, and then we were like, "Well, you need some help here." Like it was like, "If we don't help you, it's not gonna work." <laughs> so yeah. So you stepped in. You did what had to be done. Yeah, basically. But how are you? Right. Let's not feel like we're going on about me. It's fine to go on about you. I mean, we, we like people who go on about themselves. That's that's what life is all about. That's what um, Confucius said. One must go on about themselves. Um, but no, I'm I'm doing all right. I'm doing good. Um, yeah. Seems like you're pretty happy, like playing with music. I I watched your one about like the anxiety. So obviously, it's like not been all plain sailing. It's been no. like, everything. <laughs> yeah. I before I really like relate. I called them once, but not during this. It was like when I was having a breakdown, and they were really. That's really nice. I remember her name, Jackie, spoke to me. Mm. Yeah. I like, Might have been Jackie spoke to me as well. Who knows? <laughs> Should have been, you know. Jackies are everywhere. <laughs> but they were useful for you. Yeah, they were. They were. I was, yeah, I was like just not happy. So, just, yeah, it was nice. And I actually, um, I actually signed up to volunteer to be a Samaritan. And they emailed me mm -hmm. saying, like, after coronavirus, like, we'll have you on. And I was like, good. Okay, like, That's amazing. Something. Yeah. Well yeah. Yeah, no, it looks pretty cool. Like, you have to train for, like, I think it's like a, I think it's about a month of training, um, every week, like a few hours, and then you just, just do it and get through. And you have to be at least eighteen. If anyone else is out there, you know. Just uh, <laughs> didn't know yeah. that. that. That makes sense though. I imagine some twelve-year-old giving you life advice. I'd be like, <laughs> like, what the fuck do you know? Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> well, your life's different to mine right now, but like, maybe yeah. grow a bit more, but. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what made you want to delete Instagram? So, oh, right. So, I just like the person that was previously. I um, I sing too, and I um, write songs and play guitar and piano. Um, and so that's like my my kind of dream dream goal is to be an artist, kind of like yourself. Um, right. um And so I kind of it's kind of deep. I actually spoke about this earlier. Um, is that I was basically 
kind of scared of failure in a way. So it's like, mm -hmm. it was easier to kind of just spend my like, hours on social media, kind of like wasting time instead of actually doing something that I knew kind of like I could fail at. Because songwriting, I love it, but I also hate it at times. Like, I love, mm -hmm. I hate. Because like when you, when you can't think of something or you can't find a chord that works, you're just like, oh shit, like it's really annoying. Yeah. And you, like, right? I can play you something if you're interested. I'd love, I'd love to hear it, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. I, I got a bit distracted there. My <laughs> mate just commented. I would, uh, I'm, I'm, probably more comfortable playing than like speaking i'll place you here and you can see my love yeah, yeah. so i'll place you like there and then i love how i'm just playing just to everyone's life <laughs> i wrote this i was not finished um uh, my my guitar is not really aware it's like but, um, what's that again i think we lost you what, what, what did you say about your guitar it's in really alternate tuning i'm loving alternate tuning at the moment <laughs> Um, I don't even know that I literally tuned it like so it was from the tuning that uh, Jimmy Page used for can't remember the name of the song but a really good song okay um, <laughs> I'm excited yeah I might not be able to see the chorus because it's really high and I'm not warmed up but we'll try um <laughs> I'm just getting just getting my fingers ready. Yep. Um, Warm up the fingers. Yeah, yeah precisely. Um, yeah. The world's changing, injustices are right. I keep fucking up once more. That's beautiful. Changing injustices are right. I can hear our voices when I'm dreaming. I'm proud of the power created from the ground. I'm completely changed all of them. No, no, that's good. I literally fucked up. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We, you know, You've got a beautiful that. voice. Where, where's the song going? Come on. Let's, let's, let's hear serious. more. All let's right. hear more. I'm really high. I'm Cause we, I might as well not just play it. I might as well just sing. But cause we stand up tall, Woo! and there's free for all. We we don't sit and cry, but somebody takes our eyes. And then, cause it's cause it's a fight to the end. I'm fucking up so bad. That's but beautiful. Yeah, you see, I'm being really nice, and you guys are making my heart so warm. <laughs> I've, never played, I've never played this song to anyone from my family. So. They love you. I know, I'm really like, whoa, I've literally never played this song to anyone, but my dad and someone he was on the phone to. My mum's even heard it. It was, that was, that was really, really good. Um, <laughs> honestly, that was lovely. I want to play you another song, but I've not written any other songs in this weird tuning. Well, it does sound like an interesting tuning. I like it. I'll play you at that. So this was the cap on three. Go on. How cool. So it's like an F, C something. Yeah, it's like, I can almost tell you, I've got like... Is it that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to work out. I've got a tune like right here. I can tell you, it is um a D. Yeah. D. D, G, C, D. How weird. <laughs> you know, I, I love you too. I do, these people are really not so It's like weird because I obviously don't have fans like you. People never tell me, like, that was great. Do you know what I mean? So it I, is. I, it was good. It's oh, but, you got a lovely <laughs> voice. Like, really <laughs> rich, and, and there's a lot of range in that song. Yeah, oh, that chorus I is like high. two days ago. Um, just gonna, yeah, I wrote it like two days ago, um, and yeah, I basically, the reason I wrote it, I went on this website, and it was like, 11 alternate tunings, you should know, and I was like, okay, sure, and then I just scrolled down, and then I tried some songs in open, I've written like two songs in open A, two songs in open G, I love open E, that's amazing, um, right. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of my favourite songs called uh, Switzerland, is written in it, and I learned it. Um, and then I scrolled down a bit more, and then I was like, this really cool one, like FC, whatever. I don't remember. And I just tuned it because it just said, like, it was eclectic, and like, it just described the tuning so well. I was like, well, I have to now. <laughs> now when in I doubt, tune it. Pardon? 
when in doubt exactly the honesty it's like it's like this whole little world like it's just like a whole world of other songs but you usually kind of have to pick because if you if you want to do chords you need to like learn the actual like you really need to memorize the notes a bit better than like you need to kind of know the notes on the, on the, on the strings on the old guitar on the old guitar yeah yeah do you know a band called koala no you should check them out because they are very good with uh, alternate tunings K-A-W-A-L-A. <laughs> is it spelled normally or no? No. It's K-A-W-A-L-A. -A. And, um, yeah. The, so the, the main guitar player is a guy called Daniel. And me and... I can't... I couldn't actually see that. <laughs> that looks about right, yeah. Yeah. Um, so... So oh, me and me and Daniel, the guitarist, and Ben, the drummer, we used to be in a band together. That's cool. And I'm so so happy for them now because they are fucking smashing it. And they're also a real fan of the old weird tunings. So yeah. you're not alone. I know, I know. There's many, like I know um, there's many people that are big fans. Like I've forgotten her name, Joni Mitchell. Yeah. yeah. We all know about her. She's great. Yeah. She's. You know what? I actually didn't know about Joni Mitchell until about three years ago. Thank you. Fair enough. I hadn't heard of her. Yeah, and when no, I did, I, I was just like, this is amazing. Yeah, no, she's awesome. Like, the songs are just so different. Yeah. Mm. I only heard about her recently. I've been really loving Alanis Morissette recently. I've known about her for quite a while, but I've just had her album, Jagged Little Pill, the classic, on my piece for quite some time. Like, honestly, like, when I was going through a tough time, all I really want was what I was jammed to. I was just like, I had it on, just screaming. I was just like, you know, being a little fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> and also, I, I, I just, sorry, I just yeah, forgot no, go on, to go tell you. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you, you know, I don't want to be rude. But um, I forgot to tell you that my mum, my mum would be so jealous. So I only know about you because my mum. We were yes, mum! Fun fact. Um, I just didn't mention this at all till now. But um, we, um, she basically, like, she doesn't really know what to listen to music-wise, so she puts on whatever playlists come up. And so you were in one of them. <laughs> like, whatever song it was um it was apple music is what i do know she uh, liked what it was and then she um went and like put your album on loads and so like my whole spain holiday was literally just your album wow like, only that and like i learned you know i actually think i learned some of the rhythm i i tried and then i kind of mm. failed because the chords are kind of terrible like the online they were bad um and yeah and so literally like all, when i hear unstable all i think of is a holiday that's good <laughs> I know, it was good. It was a great holiday in Seville. It was literally amazing. It was a great holiday. It sounds a bit sunshiny, doesn't it? I mean, it was a whole That's album. It. Not even just the one song, the whole album. Like, was, mm. there was a soundtrack to our holiday. Nice. And we played, actually, you might not like this, but we had these, like, our, like, I don't know, like, room neighbours were being really <laughs> loud. And so, <laughs> in the morning, they were being really loud, like, 2.30 a.m. And so, in the morning, we played your album really loud. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, you pissed us off, you kept us off. <laughs> like, we don't want to be mean, but like, everyone should be up at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. No, I'm joking. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that would be... I think I actually threatened someone with that once. But I felt bad about it afterwards. But um, yeah, I, I, I got to India uh, and I just arrived where I was staying, which is like a little, like a kind of hut. Yeah. And in the next door hut, um, there was this couple who was playing music at 9 p.m. and it was oh. it was just the worst, you see. Yeah. And so I was like, "Hey guys, you know I'm, I'm feeling a bit jet lagged. Please, can you turn it down?" And I was so sleep deprived. And um, they were like, "No." Oh. <laughs> and they're like this whole couple. They're like, "No." I was like, "All right, I'll see you at five. And oh. and basically, like I was thinking of doing the same thing, and then. In the morning, I woke up and I was like, nah. You didn't. Nah, yeah, I, didn't. I mean, yeah, I kind of... When I was a bit less angry. Was, yeah, yeah, you wake up and you're like, fresh day, you know, like, don't feel like pissing people off when I'm exactly. not pissed off anymore. Like, exactly. Kind of, the mood kind of leaves. You know, like, I was going to ask you, have you heard of um, John Martin? No, I've not. I implore you to I listen have. to John Martin. I'm gonna um, He's got a, an album called Solid Air. Okay. I'm this um, and you'll love him. 
Thank you. I hope um, I'm liking this. this and also Nick Drake. Have you heard of Nick Drake? I've heard of him, but I've not listened to him. So he was a friend of John Martin. And okay. he's got a song called Pink Moon, which I think you'll like. Um, just, especially... My notes. But, this is taking notes, and that is, that is correct. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like those two are good. Pink, say it once more time. Pink. Uh, uh, Pink Moon is the is the song by um, Nick. I Nick take Frank? recommendations yeah. quite seriously, actually. When people give me recommendations, I'm, I'm, I will listen to it. Like, the, these two, they're legit. They're definitely legit. Um, these people are all fans, too. Yeah, Nick Drake. Pink Moon. He's a very mysterious character. Yeah. Have you heard of Jose, Jose Gonzalez? Yeah. Oh, he's... Jose Gonzalez. And then I was thinking about the people who... That kind of a he's not really obscure but to be honest i only really know heartbeats by Jose. oh you gotta listen to crosses and dead weight or velveteen and also give the last bison they're awesome the last bison are pretty unknown they're american and they did this um song in, a, in like a spotify kind of like cover session no co yeah cover session um they did midnight city by i've forgotten who it was originally by but it was like, mac3 yeah and they did the most mm -hmm. amazing version because they're kind of like kind of like I felt pop. I don't really know how to describe them, but they're like amazing. Like so many like strings and violins, and really gets you in your kind of like feels of like being on a countryside barn somewhere. Like, <laughs> the great feeling. Um, it's so it's so cool to listen to hear you so kind of inspired by music at the moment. Yeah, no, I'm I'm loving it. Like deleting Instagram was and like everything was just like me to just kind of like get on with everything else I should be doing, like reading, journaling, listen to podcasts, mm -hmm. just like actually trying to. I've been reading this really good book called The Seat of the Soul. It's called The What? The Seat of the Soul. It's a really good book. The Seat of the Song? Yeah. The, no, The Seat of the Soul. So, the Soul. The Seat yeah, of the Soul. Here it is. Yeah, and it's basically all about, like, exploration into worlds beyond the reach of our five senses and, like, how we're kind of, like, five, five sensory... Um, <laughs> Christina the girl with the paper and the pen. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I just have it here because I constantly have like writing books in front of me, so I kind of mm. just like. Um, but yeah, it's a really good book. I would definitely give it a read. It's like you learn a lot about you kind of challenge your own emotions and like feelings inside. And um, mm. yeah, I see you reading. I feel like you've googled it. I've googled it. I googled yeah, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, seen, I've seen a, I've seen a couple of people on here say Zoogle, which is the Zach Google. Um, oh, I yeah, because I Google so much. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I, I Google a lot just because I'm intrigued as a person. What would we do without Google? We'd have to use um, <laughs> Ask Jeeves, which no yeah. one ever uses oh, anymore. Oh, but... <laughs> I actually go to the library. No, we can't do that. No yeah, time. can't do that. Library's no, no, no. <laughs> so much to do, so little time. Um, okay, well, it was really lovely to talk to you. And thank you for singing your lovely song. And... Yeah for um, recommending a book yeah and I think if, you like it, if you like it somehow you're not going to be able to let me know but maybe you just tell the world that you like it <laughs> <laughs> okay cool um yeah awesome. well nice speaking to you nice to speak to you too all right so, take care okay. bye-bye <laughs> um all right cool well i think we do we have time for one more? Probably not. Because. And I started at eight. Ah, fuck it. Okay. We'll go for one more. We will go for one more. Who wants to come on? Who would like to come on? I'm gonna I'm gonna read. Okay. Charlotte says Me Hi. Hello Charlotte. So happy. How are you? Fine. I'm kinda of tired, but that's okay. I feel you. Um, where are you in the world at the moment? France. <laughs> where? France. France. Oh, France. 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 Yeah. Um, are, are you French? Yeah. Congratulations. 
Um, whereabouts <laughs> in, uh, in France are you? I've kind of the worst light because it's raining now. That's kind of sad. Well, I can <laughs> see you. Because all the day it's like beautiful sun with a beautiful light and light. <laughs> well, you look like someone who is not in the dark, which is a wonderful thing. Yeah. That's so well story. done. Um, where in France are you, are you at the moment? Clermont-Ferrand. Okay. I don't know. Clermont... What? Clermont-Ferrand. Um, Clermont-Ferrand. That's... Lost. <laughs> Clermont-Ferrand. Okay. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't know where that is. Let's <laughs> Google it. Let's Google it. Um, Clermont-Ferrand. <laughs> ah, okay. Clermont Ferrand. Yeah. Two, okay. Um, uh, Clermont Ferrand est une ville située dans la centre <laughs> de la France et région auvergne rhône Elle est le chef-lieu du Pays des Dômes et la capitale historique de l'Averne. Ses habitants s'appellent les Clermontois. C'est your Clermontois. Not really. Not really. Just, just for my studies. Okay. And um, where, what are you studying? Medicine. Ah, nice. Yeah. That's very cool. <laughs> um, why? <laughs> uh, I want to feel useful. Nice. And Me too. I my parents are in. My father is a doctor, and my mother is kind of a nurse. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What does "kind of a nurse" mean? Um. She, she's specialized with the kids. Um, okay. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> Is she a doctor of kids or a nurse with kids? No, nurse with kids. Okay. Like cool. with newborns and stuff. Right. But, but um, either way, both parents in the medical field. Yeah. And uh, right. I was like, mm, I don't know where to go. So that was the is easiest way to... Well, I mean, it's a pretty hard route to go down. But, <laughs> but either way, you've gone for it. That's cool. Um, where, where, what was I going to say? Where are you in the medical degree? Like, how many years have you been doing? Um, in fact, I don't know if it's the same in other countries, but in France, um, we have a kind of contest. Like, we have, um, in Clermont-Ferrand, we have 200 people taken for the first year. Like, we have an exam at the first year. Yeah. To just continue through the long years. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm uh, doing, for the second time, uh, the first exam. So that's the second try and last try. <laughs> so, okay. And the first exam and it's your second try? Yeah, the second year I try. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Good luck. And today it was the, the first day of... Um, uh, like, it's like the exam, but it's not the exam. It's just to get ready, you know. I feel you. Okay, like the mock. We call it the mock exam. The practice exam. But it still yeah. kind of counts, but it's a practice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just realized we're, we're about to get cut off. Because um, I think I started at eight minutes past six. Um, but I'm just going to say... I really hope that um, your exams go well. And I'm sorry we couldn't talk for much longer. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I upset you. That's sad. You can, you can call me again, though. No? <laughs> I can call you again. I'm also very hungry. All right, cool. We'll, we'll do, we'll oh. do if, if it cuts off, we'll, okay. do, um, we'll do 10 more minutes. And then we'll call it a day. Mm-hmm. If it cuts off, we'll do 10 more minutes and then 
and I'll call you back. But just you have to write in and say, call me back.